Lucky front row, Dave. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, today we are at uh, Susquehanna Bank Center, and we are here to see Yes and Six. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to totally rock out with a socks out, but I ain't got no socks on because it's hot out. So we're in flip flops. <laughs> Woo! All right. Peace out, Heather, and. Front row, Dave. Front row, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to rock. Yes. Yeah, Six and yes. <laughs> Woo! She's too Woo! young. She's too young. She's Woo! too young. <laughs> yeah. She's too young. Woo! Right, you know, What's your name? Where are you from, man? Joe Alexander, Woodstown, New Jersey. All right. Yeah. Yo, look What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Heather from Woodbury. All right. Woodbury, New Jersey. Alexander from Woodbury. Chris Alexander from Woodstown. All right, Woo! Woodstown. Yeah, it was a good concert. 1978. I graduated in 1980. Uh, sophomore year. It's all sticks and Spectrum, Philadelphia. Philly Spectrum, huh? Yes. How many people's that place all? Oh, God, I don't know. 40,000. 40, how about here, man? It was cool. Probably 60. 60,000? I would say. Sold out tonight? Probably sold out. But it was a great show, man. They, they like were the awesome. They were awesome. So, looking forward to seeing them. Hey. Who are you here to see tonight? Yes, yes it's six. Yes, it's six, baby. I'm over for yes. I'm over yes, for yes. Yeah, yes, yes, that, yes. that that fucking bass ain't in him, nothing in the world. It's got, Once it's you get so fuck up that. on a on a no, mix on a mixer for the bass you on, it changes the fucking world, man. I'm telling you. Nice, nice. Yeah. How about you? Yes. See, yo, she's like my daughter. Yes. This is my baby. Right. She, was, she wasn't even born. She wasn't even born when that was the first song. Right. What song you want to hear tonight? All of it. You gotta oh, have yeah. a favorite. All of them. All of it. All right. All right. All of them. I want to hear the instrumental shit, honestly, man. I want to hear some. I don't know if they're gonna do it, you know, because it's not the, it's not the popular thing. But I hope, yeah. they, I hope they go back to the roots. No. But I tell you, the cool thing about tonight yeah. is Jeff Downs. I, first time he was with Yes, I've seen him. The drama tour was in Bethlehem. Stabler Arena, they didn't come here. Stabler Arena was a revolving stage. That's an awesome album, and I hope they do something from it. We are here in Camden. Camden, New Jersey. Fourth of July, it doesn't get any better. The party has started. People are lined up, ready to go see an awesome show tonight. We got Sticks warming up the one and only Yes. Yes is doing it again. People are ready to party and ready to see some awesome rock and roll tonight. Uh, my name is First name. Tammy. And where are you coming from, Tammy? Are you local or to here, or do you travel for this show? Um, we're local. We're pretty local. Are My, you? Uh, yeah. Uh, You're yeah. from South Jersey. Yeah. And have you been to this uh, venue before? Yes, many times. Really? How many people does it hold? Any idea? Um, not sure. A lot of people. Well, if you come here during the country concert, oh, you're in trouble. Oh, really? Yeah, the XTU concert, the country concert, it's crowded. It's packed. Um, we've been to MM Barbecue here. Uh, now we've uh, come to uh, Magic. 102, we've gone to every one of their concerts over at Cooper River. Awesome. Um, except for the very first one. We missed the first one. So we've been here for 10 years, um, coming to every one over at Cooper River. This is the first time we've come over here to this venue for the concert. Um, we're looking forward to seeing uh, Sticks and Yes. Um, we see many, many good rock bands they've brought over. Um, so we appreciate them for bringing all those concerts to um, Freedom Rocks concert every year on 4th of July. It's amazing. The uh, birthday of the country and sticks and yes, it doesn't get any better, does it? <laughs> oh, well, really? I, I'm a versatile. I've been to Metallica, everything, whatever. All right. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Cool. Well, let me ask, what is the largest concert you've ever been to in your life? The most people? Um, the most people, I think, was the XTU country concert this past uh, June. Okay. Um, it was it was large. Um, we went to um, Metallica was pretty big over at um, well when the old the old stadium the old Vet Stadium was there um, the one they took down now. Um, actually, U2 was pretty big over at uh, huh. Yeah, the U2 concert and um, Pink Floyd were over at uh, JFK Stadium. Oh, can't, get anybody, <laughs> can't get much better than that. Those, that stadium's no longer either. Those were some pretty big concerts. Um, nice. Yeah. 
Nice. I was lucky enough to, I live right by the site from Woodstock 94, so I think almost 300,000. Oh, you were at Woodstock? Yeah, I live lucky 10 minutes you. from there. Lucky you. Yeah. 94, not 69. <laughs> <laughs> and I was also at 99 with the fires, and that was pretty interesting. Okay, yeah. Um, we went to the Live 8 thing they had in Philly as oh, well. Oh, you did? Yeah. You saw Live 8 with the Zeppelin reunion. Not Live 8. Live oh, 8. Got it. Which okay. was years later. That was, um, we missed the Live 8. We went to the Live 8 because that was in Philly. So we went over there for that. There were several bands over there. Um, but we've been to, we go from Jimmy Buffett to, you know, Metallica, like I said, uh, everything. What's the next show? You got tickets to any future shows? Uh, we're trying to do Journey. All right. Well, we're actually Melissa Etheridge. Atlantic City, yes. House of Blues. Yes. I will yes. be there doing you from will be the there? fans. Oh, Absolutely. I've seen Melissa on the Etheridge boardwalk. like 12 times. Really? Oh, oh I can't wait to interview you at that show. Oh, look for me. I'll be there. I'll be right on the boardwalk. That's <laughs> what I do when I'm in Atlantic City, right there we're on the We're trying to do Journey. we got a friend working on that one, but we're, we definitely have our tickets for Melissa Etheridge. So. Excellent. We'll be there. Excellent. Going to so. be a great show. And if there was one band that you could see, name it. Well, I've seen the Rolling Stones. It would probably be Led Zeppelin. Nice. I've, I've never seen it. Yep. I can't. It's Jason Bonham's Led Zeppelin experience. They toured in May. They're going to do a couple more shows on the West Coast, and then um, we're hoping they do another East Coast tour. You are a rock and roller, that's yeah. for sure. Thank you so much. Rock on. All right. We got another awesome group of fans here, ready to see another uh, killer show. Right What's on. happening, man? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Paul. I'm from Cinnamon's in New Jersey. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Paul's from the band I Am The Trireme, and it's the sickest metal band in Jersey, so you should fucking see it. Trust me. Nice, Definitely man. see it. If Fuck you like yeah, good man. music, Rock you will on. like I Am The Trireme. Trust me. Got any upcoming gigs? Yeah. Yes, this Friday, Friday. at the Red Stallion in Philadelphia. Red Stallion. You can check us out on Facebook. You here for Yes or Sticks, or don't it matter? I want to rock! Rock! <laughs> yeah, I am the Trireme, the sickest band in all South Jersey. I am the Trireme. Trireme. T-R-I-M... T-R-I-R-E-M-E. Trireme. Check us out. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Tracy Burns, Wilmington, Delaware. A ride from Wilmington. How far of a ride is that? That's not too bad, is it? I don't know. I didn't drive. <laughs> ah, there you go. Look at you, right? I didn't care. Look at you, no doubt. <laughs> Absolutely. And are you here for sticks or yes or both or? Uh, I have to say yes, but we love sticks as well. I hear you. The Grand Illusion, right? The Grand Illusion was my yeah. um, was the prom song in my junior high school prom. Oh actually. really? Yeah. Wow. You know, okay. You know. Wow. Well, my boyfriend has seen yes probably like 20 times. Oh, then we got to talk to him. That's for sure. No oh, doubt. Yeah. Oh yes. Every time they come around, he's there. What's your first yes show ever? Okay. 
My first session. First one it ever. It was into a big generator tour. Okay, that was like uh, early 80s, right? So I'm like reaching back. Okay. I, re I reached back for the SS3, pretty much. But yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, big generator tour, and then I saw them Anderson Roof and Wake Manhattan, then I saw them on the Union tour, and then they, you know, they branched out, you know, and they got back to their, I, I met, yes. Did you? Where did you meet them? Where did you meet them? I met them at the Ritz Carlton in 1991, met Rick Wakeman, Trevor uh, Rabin. Nice. Yeah, Chris Squire. Chris Squire actually signed, he signed all my albums and stuff. He's really cool. They're good guys. They're really cool guys. Awesome. Well, on my website, you can uh, take photos and upload photos of uh, all your autograph stuff. It'll all go right on this documentary. Cool. That's that you're going to be on. And yes. Uh, good luck, Sticks. Keeping up with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you. Sometimes the warm-up band does it, and sometimes they don't. It's going to be interesting to see tonight. It's a warm-up band, but they're they're. It's weird because they're more rock. Let's call them the opening act. Hey, they're the opening act. I saw uh, I saw Yes right here with Kansas a few years back. Really? And they had actually had Robbie Steinhardt back as their front man, and um and and I thought it was more rock than uh, progressive than Yes is, but it was still a good show. It was a good balance, like tonight will be. Definitely. And I'm, I mean, you've seen them many times, man. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of different versions of their songs in concert. Yeah, I hope to see some drama stuff tonight. That's what I was going to ask you. What album do you want to hear some tunes on? I want to hear some stuff all drama just because Jeff Downs is there. You know, they don't play close none of that. Edge, without without edge, Anderson in mind as well, I, I want to hear like Machine Messiah. I'd love to hear that. Close to the great. edge, I want to hear that. Or Tempest Fugit, more likely they'll probably play that. But, uh, Anything they can play, I love. Just that one song or songs off that album? Uh, well, a lot, a lot of those songs from that album are real good. I've only saw them once in Spectrum years ago uh, in the early late 80s, early 90s. This guy knows a lot more than I do. He's in a band, and you know he's a great jammer too. Nice. You know, back in his you know his day, he still jams now, and it's a good time, man. What's the name of your band? My band 440. is called 440. 440, cool. and man, they're awesome. Local around here? Or? No, we were no, from Delaware. 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 We play around Delaware, Delaware man. most of Maryland, stuff like that, PA. Website you want to plug? Um, yeah, just 440.com. All right, 440. Spelled out of the numbers, how do you do it there? That can go different ways. 440, it's just the numbers. Numbers 440. 440.com. Just numbers. We all play all classic rock all stuff. stuff. We don't play classic any yes. Stuff. But even though I love them, we play a lot of Zeppelin and Beatles. Oh, yeah. What instrument do you do? A guitar and sing. Oh, this guy's nice. great, man. I'm telling yeah. you. And do you prefer lead or acoustic? Um, I both. Really? I, I love all guitars, you know. Nice. He can and do either band, one. Banjo or anything like that. But <laughs> If you had to pick one song that your band plays better than any other song, what would it be? Hey Bulldog by the Beatles. Nice. No shit. Sure. Good, good for you. This guy's I know nice. that. We, 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 it's, we don't have pianos. We, it's a little edgier. Or, yeah, definitely. That would be the one. Cool. Hey, man. Bulldog. This guy's right. the greatest. Hey, Bulldog, man. man. Check him hey, out. Hey, Bulldog. This guy's talented, Standing man. In the rain. So awesome. 440.com. Yeah. Check him out. Let's hear it for Sticks Chris and Yes two, tonight. Man. We're having a good time here. Yes and Sticks, baby. Work it, baby. Oh, Wilmington Delaware Connection. I got in. Wilmington. <laughs> Woo! Yay! What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Karen Roberts. I'm from Karen Roberts Jones. I'm sorry. I'm from Columbus, Mississippi. Really? All the way up for the show? Or? Uh, I live here now, but I'm from Columbus. And right. I live I live actually in Parkesee, Parkesee, Pennsylvania. And I love Sticks and the Grand Illusion. Excellent. Is that the one you want to hear tonight, the Grand Illusion? That's the one. You know, that was my uh, junior high school prom song. Oh, <laughs> cool. That's cool. Probably hundreds of prom songs, right? <laughs> yeah. No doubt. And have you seen the band before, or is this the first no, time? I haven't. I haven't. I've been to a lot of concerts, but I've never seen these two. I've seen Journey and Sticks. I know, Journey, and I've seen Kid Rock. Yeah, of I've course, been. excellent concert. Nice. <laughs> and I've seen uh, uh, ZZ Top and... I've seen, I've been to a lot of concerts, but what's going to be exciting for me. What's the one band you've seen more than any other? Uh, would be Journey. Really? Journey? Nice. They're coming soon. I know. I might see them again. I've seen them three times. I might see them again. I know they're touring this summer. I'm not sure exactly where, but I think they're on my list. And I've seen Loverboy twice, so, you know, they're, they're pretty good. I don't know whether they're still around or not, but... Not sure either, not sure either, but I gotta tell you. That's my age, right? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I love those glasses. Thank you, thank you very much. And my husband here. Is how you doing, man? Good, how are you? All right, I nice am awesome, you. man. Nice. Ready for another killer show here, oh, man. Absolutely. 
Um, yes, back in 74, 75, I think. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, here in, in Philadelphia. Um, but it's been a long time. And there's not one particular song I want to hear. Mm -hmm. I just want to go in and see the band. That's there you go, sure. man. Yeah. Don't matter what they play, right? That's right. That's right. It's just <laughs> getting out on the fourth, having a good time. We just moved up to Percocy, so uh, it was a moving weekend. Now we got to relax and have a good time. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome, yeah. and definitely it's Steve Howe tonight, man. Absolutely. And you hear we got MGK playing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're that's doing our, it good. That's yeah, our, uh, absolutely. That's our station. MGK. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, that's the local one here. Yep, that's, that's the local one. That's what it's putting on the show. They're putting the show. Yeah, MGK. Yep. Fantastic. I'm sure I'm going to be up talking to those guys in a little absolutely. while. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a fun night. No absolutely. Doubt. And when? What's the first time you ever saw us? It was 74. You said right? Yeah, Where? Oh, it was right here. Yep. Uh -huh. Spectrum or yeah, it's Spectrum, right absolutely. It's spectrum. And now it's down, so it's what are you gonna do? You know, you just got memories. Any highlights from that show you want to talk about? No, I. I, I hear that, man. Ago. That's uh, 37 years ago, no doubt. Did I say that? Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you rock on, yep. Yep. and you Thank enjoy you. the show, man. Because that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Take care, guys. Yep. We're looking forward to this concert. Well, I so like sticks. You're here for Sticks, huh? I'm here for Sticks. My husband's here for Yes. Have you seen him before? Uh, not Sticks. I've seen Yes, though. Okay. So yes has been playing a little bit uh, more frequently. Yes, they have. No and doubt. Yes, we've grabbed a couple of their concerts via my husband. Awesome. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Joanne from Philadelphia. All right, Joanne from Philadelphia. Going to be a rocker, isn't it? Yes, I am. No, no doubt. What's your name, bro? I'm Frank. All right, Frank. You know, and uh, first. That's why. You know who's playing first? Oh, I would guess Sticks is playing first, but hey, you never know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just curious, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And never um, know is right. That's for sure. Well, we're sure it's going to be a good show, especially on the 4th of July, you know. Hoping for some fireworks, you know. Oh, that would be cool, sweet. Cool fireworks. You know what I love about this venue is that when you go up, you can go up into the lawn area and you can look out and you can see the whole skyline from Philadelphia. Yeah, right. yes. You can see the bridge. Okay, and it's beautiful. There really isn't yes. any venue with a better view than up in that one corner of the lawn. You know, you can't see the stage too well from there because you're far up, but I mean, just, just an incredible view yeah. from well, there. We might venture around, you know. We, we got seats inside, but, you know, we'll might venture on the field too, you know. Very cool. And um, as far as venues, you got, do you have a favorite yourself? Or? No, not really. Not really, yeah. Doesn't matter, as long as it's music playing. I hear that, man. That's He's what it's about. classic rock man. That's it. I hear <laughs> that. Yes, he I hear that, no doubt. I love all types of music. Cool. Cool. I'm a classic rocker myself, but I'm actually even going to do a couple country shows this year. Really? Yeah, you know. And I, I even, like some it, of the country. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I do. I'm doing Taylor Swift. I'm going to do Josh Groban. And I'm doing Britney Spears also. I've already oh, done really? Lady Gaga. I they, love Lady Gaga. She's got I some amazing her. fans. Let yes, me tell you, does. no one, not one band out there has a fan following like Lady Gaga. Truly amazing. She is truly a mold of in her own. She is. Oh my God. She just says what she wants. She That's don't hold it. back. You know, yes. I got a lot of respect I, for her. I have respect for her too, because I feel like she's picking up where Madonna left off. Exactly. Definitely. She's like continuing with that, that, that sort of mold, I guess, if you will. Well, the era, every era changes. And yep. you push the limit a little more and a little more. And Lady Gaga is pushing it more than Madonna could. She pushes it, that's yes, for she sure, does. there's no doubt. Oh, yes, she does. I think she's fabulous. Absolutely. Definitely. No question about it, guys, no doubt. Have a rocking time, guys. You too, no thank doubt. you. No doubt.
Thank you. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you guys. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? All man? right. I am awesome, man. Good. I'm at another live concert, man. So it doesn't get any better. Here we for are. Me. Here I we got are. I got out of my car and I said, I'm home, man. I'm home. Right on. See That's that what right it's there? all about. See that? That's beautiful. It is. I can't beautiful. wait till after the sun goes get a down. Shot of that and right we there. can see skyline. that skyline from up Look inside the skyline. one corner, man. It's awesome. What's your names? Where are you from? I'm Gina. I'm from Philadelphia. Jake, Philadelphia. All right. Yeah, and um, any special uh, concerts that you get stands out in your memories, like the funnest one you've ever been to? Well, this is my first Yes and Sticks, obviously. Um, cool. My top three, I was just talking to them about it, are my Billy Joel Elton John. Sweet. I was at a box in there, and I was having the time of my life. And then nice. it was Pearl Jam and the Foo Fighters. That was that's mine. Yeah. That's my top. They three played members. together. No, but okay. I went to the went to the Billy Joel. Then I had another you know thing at the uh, Pearl Jam, which was here. Oh, okay. Which was great. And then I went and saw the Foo Fighters down down South Philly, and was also fabulous because I love Dave Grohl. And will one day marry him. Love you, babe. But <laughs> love you, babe. But I I love them so crooked money. It's cool. <laughs> I love them crooked vultures so much. I drove all the way to Indianapolis to see him. Yeah, they're good. Not I love that he's like branching out. Like he's such a great artist. He really is. Every band he's in is like it's amazing. great. It's great. Like he can't do anything wrong. Exactly. He's Dave Grohl. He can't do anything wrong. <laughs> exactly. No doubt about it. And talk really? to me about some Yes experiences. Some some reminiscing about listening to Yes. You know, I, I can't say that much about Yes, but I can say that my first album was Sticks. I was eight years old. Really? First album ever? First day was uh, Pieces of Eight. Okay, sure. And I've been, I've been rocking my first concert. I was eight from my Fisher Price record player. <laughs> but you know, I love the artwork. I've been rocking the sticks ever since, man. You guys, you guys rock. Keep it going. So where, where there are you are, man. Um, my name is Front Row Dave. I've got a great website called FrontRowDave.com, okay. and it's where the fans create history. Cool, man. Because you know I've gone to 300 concerts, and when I look back and I try to find information about the concerts I've gone to, you find Rolling Stone reviews, you yeah. find New York Times reviews, MTV stuff. It's not real. It's yeah. not accurate. Yeah. And that's why what I do after the show, people tell me about the concert, and it's the real deal. And that's what it's all about. Man. Genuine like, experience. It is really is. For. It really yep. is. True to life. You yep. know, not not being put on by somebody who's getting paid to do it. Yeah, exactly. You know? I'm not, you're doing a great right job. Now, I'm not great getting work. paid a dime great to do work. this. I hope one day I'll pick up some sponsors. <laughs> I'm sure it's coming, but uh, right as now. As long as you love what you're doing, that's all that matters. I can't even tell you. I, you I can't, can't even you tell you. Shirts, yeah. yeah, we thought we were more t-shirts to buy. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, man. I want you guys to be able to talk about your favorite bands and your favorite concert experiences. Yo, that's so many. Just uh, like do. I did in yes, London yes, in 2007. I'm sorry that you guys were my first album, but you know I got to appreciate it over the years. I have them all, uh, yeah, and all. and and for all. and for the the fan he club storage room of sticks. Room. When I was eight, I'll admit it. I scratched my record up because I was an idiot. I was a kid. We so, all have. So so if you ever got my letter, I I wrote to you when I was like nine or ten, saying my friend was sick and needed a new album. <laughs> that was me. But I love you, Sticks. You guys are great. You're great. Thanks for covering, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming on, man. Absolutely.